Okay, so in this video, we continue our discussion on the basic geometrical ideas. And in this video, I am going to give you a quick introduction to a very important figure in geometry and that is called as a triangle. Now, triangle. What does the triangle mean? So, the name suggests tri-angle. Right? So, tri means three and angles, of course, you know from our earlier discussion that an angle is formed when a corner is formed. So, whenever we have three angles, right, there is a triangle. But wait, there is more to it. So, what is a triangle? It is a three-sided polygon. This is how we describe triangle in geometry. A three-sided polygon. This is our definition of a triangle. So let us make one triangle here and uh, so we have this one side. This is not a straight line so I would like to go and make a straight line. Yes, so now we have a straight line here. So let's say this is one line segment and this is another line segment. I would like to convert them Two lines of course and let us say this three and let me convert them into lines so that they are going on an infinite direction both the ways around okay so let us say that we have three lines and then they are interacting or they are crossing each other in such a way that we can see three corners are formed so let us say that this point is A okay then this is the point B this point where these lines interact and this is the point C okay so this is what a triangle is put simply it is a three sided polygon and why do we say polygon if you remember the definition of polygon it is a simple closed figure formed of line segments so if I remove this portion here this portion here and if I remove these lines here and just let this line segments remain what I get is a triangle and a triangle is represented in geometry as a small triangle sign and then we write the three points where the corners of the triangle meet so this is how we represent this triangle as triangle A B and C now let us try to see how do we identify a triangle what are the characteristics of this triangle ABC and what is the terminology associated with it so a triangle will have three sides and an interesting thing for you to observe is that a triangle is a polygon with the least number of sides just give a thought over it whether it is possible for you to come up with a polygon which is less than three sides just try and figure it out it's a good exercise to do so now we have this three sides for this triangle and we write them as the line segments AB, line segments BC and the line segment CA. So these three line segments they are known as the sides of this triangle ABC. And it is also important to know that there are three angles formed. That is, this is one angle, this is angle number two, and this is angle number three. Okay, and the way we represent angles, if you remember, we always have the vertex in the middle. So the three angles that we have are angle A, B, C. Okay, angle A, B, C. That is, we are talking of this angle B over here. Then we can have angle B, C, A. Okay, we have angle B, C, A. Then we also have the angle C, A, B. So, angle C, A, B. So, these are the angles of triangle A, B and C. Okay. Now, it's also important to know that these points, 
right where the angles are formed that is the point a b and c they are termed as vertices vertices of triangle a b and c okay and of course we also have the concept of an interior and exterior in the triangle so any point if it is located inside that is in this region right in this region right for example if there is the point p then this region is called as the interior of the triangle a b and c whereas if there is a point lying on any of the sides we say that this point is lying on the triangle abc and if there is a point let us say q which is outside we could say that this point q lies to the exterior of the triangle abc so th this was the basic introduction to a triangle now what comes after triangle if we can have triangle can we have something which is like with four angles so yes let us try to make another figure with four angles so in this case uh, let us say that i take a line segment this is one let's say there is this another line segment then i take this one and one more okay so now we have a figure that is formed using four line segments and I am just denoting the various points at which this is being formed. So we have A, B, C and D. So we have this four vertices, right? Now this is a, there are four angles in this figure and it has four sides. So this is a very special class of figures in geometry, right? And it is called as a quadrilateral. So a four-sided polygon is called a quadrilateral. That is what we mean by a quadrilateral. Now let us try to understand the various terms associated in the quadrilateral. So this quadrilateral we simply call it as a quadrilateral A, B, C and D. And it is very important to note that for a quadrilateral, we name the vertices in cyclic manner. This is very important to remember. And then second is now we try to see what are the different sides of the quadrilateral. So we have there are there are four sides which is AB, BC, CD and DA. Also there are four angles that is angle ABC, then we have angle BCD, angle CDA and angle DAC. So there are four angles in a quadrilateral. Also there are, I mean as we discussed about the four angles, now it's also important to know that these two sides any two sides which have a common end point for example this point it has the common sides are AB and BC so these two are called the adjacent sides similarly BC and CD that is this and this they are common or they, they, they have a common end point hence they are called adjacent sides similarly for CD DA these are adjacent sides and so on for DA and AB Okay, so these are called adjacent sides whereas if you see the side that is BC and AD these are called as the opposite sides and so on you can also understand that angles A and angle D they are adjacent angles whereas angle A and angle C they are opposite angles. So these are the basic concepts associated with the quadrilateral. So in this lecture we discussed about triangle and some terminology associated with it and 
quadrilateral and the terminology associated with the quadrilateral. So see you soon in the next session.